Hello, my name is Becky and I'm an artist from the UK and welcome to another video. It's been super gloomy here for the last few days so I thought I would share a comfort painting process video. I've shown my process a few times but I've never properly talked through it so I thought I'd do a little painting for you. So I'm drawing another dog portrait, which will come as a huge surprise. I use a Faber and Castell pencil in dark indigo. I found myself being less precious about the initial sketch, doing it in a coloured pencil. Rather than regular pencil, I can rub it out as well, so what's there is there and I sort of work with it. This is how I prepare my paper. If I paint on paper, I use some washi tape and give it a coat of acrylic. Here I'm using a piece of A3 mount board. It was really nice to work on. I bought a load more ready for Peachtober. The paint sits on it really nicely and doesn't tend to warp or anything and it's just a really nice surface to use. This is our old dog, Dolly, who died during lockdown. She was nearly 17. She was a Springer Collie and just the bestest girl. For the paint, I use a mixture of the Heaney Jelly Gouache Winter and Newton, Turner Acrylic Gouache and the Arteza. They're all pretty nice. The Turner is my favourite, the Japan Japanesque. Uh, especially it gives it's got real nice grain to it and it's really nice to put the pencil and the wax crayon over. I don't give the backgrounds a perfect coat as I like to see some of the colour popping through. Um, as far as composition and stuff, I always have the vaguest idea of what I want to do. My ideas tend to feel like they're really far away in my head. I can sort of see bits of it. I can't ever see a whole finished piece. It's a bit like aphantasia, so I find it really useful to write or make write lists or make notes for images rather than making endless thumbnails. Um, this is something that tripped me over a lot during my MA as they weren't a fan of looking through my endless lists instead of making my ideas from thumbnail after thumbnail after thumbnail.
As far as the colours I choose, it's pretty instinctive. I do have a set that I like to go to, like the pastel colours, the pinks and the purples especially, and the blues. But otherwise, I just sort of pick it as I go. Um, I don't think too much about it, I just grab it and use it. I'm using a mixture of the Posca colour pencils, the Prisma colour pencils, and some Karandachi wax pencils for the details. Up until very recently, sort of about six months ago, I was almost entirely print based, and whilst exploring this new way of working, I was looking at the artists on who are already on YouTube that I really liked, like Apple Cheeks, Studio Meggy, Lee Ellickson. I looked at the different materials and the different ways they use them and experimented myself with them and I sort of settled on this way of working. I'm not sure what to call it but I'm really happy and it's forever changing and I can see myself growing and I can see the confidence and my skills improving so hopefully it'll carry on and I'll, it'll get better and better as I go. a lot of my pastels are snapped in half and there is a very silly reason as to why that is which you'll see in a moment. I thought balancing them on a box of all your pastels was a good idea as I walked down the stairs. It wasn't. And now I have lots of tiny crayons.
So it turned out a little bit different than it was just a moment ago. I added a sky at the last minute. It was lacking something and it was definitely a good idea to put that in. We also gave the house a little bit of smoke coming out the chimneys and some detail around the grass and it's just sort of brought it to life a bit more than before. I'm so happy with how it's turned out. It's one of the best things I think I've done in a while. much if you stay to the end I do like making these little process videos and I hope you like watching them and I'll see you in the next one